Hello there, this is Ben Fournier, Benevolent Side I'm going to continue my second playthrough where it's just mostly me relearning how to play this game. And it's been a while since I've tried to get caught up and I rescheduled how I do my videos on the page, so I think I'm going to build way more colony ships. Uh, manage fleets, interesting. That's not quite what I meant to do, but while we're here, let's get more colonizer ships. Or wait, let's see, what are we doing here? I think we only have the ones with the cruisers or whatever there. Like the best we have is F node fusion, right? Pulsed F node fission. F node fusion. No, vision. Fusion. Alright, so that's range 18 light years. 23 light years. F node fusion. Yep, okay. That's already a thing. That's the one there. Yep, okay. So we don't need to do that. So it's already good enough. And that has the uh, the cryo thing, right? Or did I forget to put that on there? Let's see. Oh, yep, suspended animation. It's already there. Where's it say, though? That's it. That's what it is. Probably that's what that is. Probably. Yep, there it goes. It says that in the alt text if it actually, if you hover over it long enough. Alright, so let's get that. And I'm going to prepare these to go to Earth. Well, the Sol system anyway. Shipyards getting up. So they can help speed up the process of capturing the middle of the board. Which is all the way over here somewhere, right? Where is Earth Star? There it is. So it's got to be... Alright, the closest ones are Alpha Centauri and Bernard Star. Our closest fleets, however, are still a bit away. So it might be a little bit before we get a fleet out there, but we should have them there soon. Um... Let's see, everyone here, I do believe I switched everyone to terraforming, maxing the terraforming on anything that has a climate hazard still. So yeah, terraforming there, terraforming, terra, oh yeah, no t climate hazard on that one, but terraforming there, terraforming there, because the sooner the climate hazard's dealt with, then uh, the, m the more can be relegated to industrial output and economy generally it's because right now we have a planetary development budget of the vast majority of what we're doing apart from research yay so that's fun so yeah terraforming I do believe I went through this last time I just don't remember for certain alright anyone that doesn't have a destination looks like they all have destinations so that's good and what are we researching? Four turns to complete the data synergy thing. Okay. Uh, can we make it three turns? Yeah, uh, we'd get... Yeah, just a little bit too close to the edge, but alright. Okay, let's see here. Leaving life, the universe, and everything to turn 30... System not 30, but 43. Industrial output, 99. We're wrong one, though. Uh, here's hoping it's not an alien world at that point. Fleet arrived at there. So what can we do? It's a tanker that we shipped there. Alright, and that's somewhere we've been before. This one isn't yet. We still have five light years range on this. So I guess we're yes, going to Epsilon Indy. I don't, uh, where are you? Alright, you're another tanker. Okay, can you get there? Or will it require sublight? Three turns. Awesome. Okay. So there's that. So next. Next fleet. Ah, the joy. So armor, F node, CNC thing, and a tanker of doom. Oh, looks like there's a world we haven't explored there. Let's get a little bit more. Oh, great. 17 turns. Alright, well. That sucks. They can stay there. Uh, we need a 
colony ship to make this in into a useful world useful world world sooner than later so otherwise I can scuttle them but that kind of would suck but I don't know yeah they're just gonna do nothing there pretty much yeah the tanker isn't a combat ship so I'm gonna scuttle that and its purpose is served since it can't I really do anything else abandoning ship. she sounds like Nao Naomi I, on the expanse a little bit I don't think she's the same voice actress but it wouldn't be surprising though a lot of times like the actress who pl voiced Ashley Williams is in a few things including like XCOM Enemy Within and Enemy Unknown I don't know about most other voice actresses but uh, yeah, I'm sure, it, well, it's all on IMDB anyway. So there's that. whoop de doo right? So onward to see if that world's useful or just another prohibitive thing. Wait, that's the one I was at. Okay, and this is another tanker. Well, can you move anywhere else? Yay, you're going there now. See what's there. Three ships built there, woo. Okay. And let's see here. What's the closest to Sol? That's a new Tikkundu. Interesting. Here's hoping I said that right. And no one's upset. Roar. Always anger. Always much anger. What's this here? Cape and Star. Cool. And there's Saul. Can you move to there? Would it be possible? 24 turns. To just jump. Jump, jump. Uh, there's got to be one nearby that we have gotten close to already. That doesn't require going sublight. Alpha Centauri, 26 turns. Cape and Star. Yeah, the joy. What is the closest one to it that links to the ones we've already gone to? <sighs> well, we just have to go everywhere first. But yeah, Saul is in its own little corner in a way. Not quite as bad as, say, the other ones nearby, but pretty darn close. Okay, well... Let's just build up the fleet, I guess. So we have a tanker that explored there. So another useful world that we'll get around to seeing about doing something about later. Where to next? Someone already is going there, right? So to Hun Jiang, I guess. Okay. Iota fleet. Na 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 na. You have 18 turns range. Cool. Someone's already going to that one. So let's see. Next one nearby that has a route. I don't see one. All right. We have some stuff going everywhere. So ah, here's one that doesn't have anyone going to it yet. Now there is. And I really do like the real space. Uh, set up here. Do need to get more refinery ships. That should be something I'd do. But, uh, let's build some more refinery ships. See about that. Couple more of those. And let's design a propaganda ship. Cruiser, come on, come on. Refinery. Propaganda. Okay. That's it. Pretty much nothing to add to it. Save design. Alfred Brester.
There we go. It's the Alfred Bester of Doom. And we're gonna build it. Because why not? Two of them. Alright, don't need more of those really. But, yeah, maybe a couple more armors. Alright, and how are we doing on research? Not over budget yet. Yet. Alright. So... And I already have them moving out, or... No, they're still... Oh, right, they have nothing to do. Uh, I guess let's move them here, even though it's gonna... I wish you were, but oh well. And they are going over there. Okay. And you are moving. Is that right? Destination. Yep, they have a destination. So that's all that stuff. Okay. Onward to turn 44. The year my the age when my dad died of lung cancer. Woo. I do like the artwork here. It's very like 50s-ish. Or like, uh, no, 80s. 80s. They, there was like a whole ton of Love of the 50s style back in the 80s though. Oh my word. This is Alpha Centauri and Sold there. We're going all the way around I guess before we can get over there. Like, what is the route? Ah, well, we're here, I guess. Let's go... Well, alright, special... Cancel. Let's just move one of these into their own thing. Can we? There we go. There. So at least they're still making another chain in that world web thing or whatever. And then the rest of the fleet can move to this unexplored star. Engines to power, huh? I was hoping to do a fair bit more, but yeah, I gotta find a route to Seoul before being able to do much otherwise, I guess. Gamma Fleet. It's a tanker with only 18 range. That has a ton of range still. Cool. Von Monenstar. I was just there in um, uh, Space Commander War and Trade, which I think is the next thing on my list to do aside from making more cool video clips, or hopefully cool, you know. I'm, it's my goal in life to add the phrase extra crispy to everything that I can find. Of course, where it fits, you know, whenever there's an extra crispy moment for bad guys in the fiction, uh, fictional scenarios, or, you know, like just random things going boom within fictional settings <sighs> for all the censor bots that are just so loving of destroying freedom of speech in this world yay whatever though okay so someone's already going there to Van Monstar alright I already saw that the question is how do I get anywhere there's that over here can you go there I guess you can Epsilon Indy I guess if they were a colonizing ship, they could be an Epsilon Indie developer. Dun dun dun. Oh well. Lameness is lame, and that is what I am. Extra lame. Rrr. Okay, well, to L675, there you go. And you have plenty of range still. Cool. Move over yonder then, or here. Okay, to Castor. You seriously couldn't move here? Oh wait, you can. Okay, well... Go there instead. Or wait, which one's two turns? This one's only two turns? Alright, there then. Alright, go on, Mr. Worf. And there's another tanker looking for nothing to do. You're gonna do more than nothing, though. You're gonna go... Here, maybe? Or seven turns, or six turns. There you go to see what we can see, see, see. 
Alright, lots more colony ships, so... Yep, that's what we have. And how's this doing? Anyone else doing nothing yet? Oh, this one's... well, we're building up the fleet there. And they're colonizing that, so that's a good thing. And pretty much nothing else there. Alright, what is this? I don't understand that. 50 something humans, morale 50%. Lovely. What their problem is, I have no idea. But I'm sure they can always have more problems. It's what everyone does the most of is finding ways to complain. Ah, the joy. It's like, I want a free employee discount because I say so. Like, why? Why me? Just why? Okay. Well, they're going over there. Alright, turn 45. Yeah, the age my dad would have turned if he made it to his 45th birthday in 1999. Whoa. That's the joy about cigarettes and other forms of normalized self-poisoning things. It's like yeah, my dad was born in 54 and it was around those times doctors actually had advertisements or advertisements had doctors more or less I suppose would be the more a accurate way of saying that but it's like you know doctor approved smoke this for your health like obvious eugenics propaganda is obvious and yet you know you, you have scientism trusting those who speak with authority it's for your health I, I suppose it's better than breathing in tuberculosis directly, maybe. That could be a thing from Outpost 31, maybe. But that's about it. Alright. So, whatever, though. And it's a joy, too, how everyone that's not, you know, like... No one has a voice except those in power kind of thing, so that sucks. Alright, you guys. Move to this one. That one has the lower climate hazard, so it'll be able to be colonized faster. Uh, well, I mean, colonizing just takes one turn, but faster in terms of getting it done. Uh, rather than just being annoying. Uh, over budget. Yay. Well, almost time. Okay. Well gonna be finished when it finishes I guess these could start heading out but I want to make sure we have way more stuff with us anyway yep that went over budget Alpha Fleet has gone here and found a world with 522.65 climate hazard I guess that's gonna be a pain to fund the fixing of oh well so we already have someone going over to that world. So here's another world. Going to Formal Hout. Cool. Alright, there's that one. And Delta Fleet has explored Eridani. So, 455-24. Alright, and... I guess we're going to... Oh, they have a destination. They're going over there, but they explore the world they pass through or something? Or what's the deal? I didn't realize that. That saves time, I guess. Okay, so these guys... Um, could help colonize that too. I guess we already have one there. Oh wait, no, I'm heading these guys over there. That's something I did. Alright, so turn 46, I guess. See if we get the overtime and over budget, but at least we got it done, sir. Uh, nope, looks like we haven't yet. Uh, some guy whined about something. I think I heard the word fuel. Alright, terraforming, max it. Alright, and Von Monenstar has not so much of a climate hazard. Let's see here, Groombridge. That's um, closer to Earth. Navigation set calls. Somewhere around there. Alright, so these guys. 
set one of them to colonize this. And then the rest move over yonder. Alright, and then you colonize just that one. Okay, and we're still way far away from there. We're getting closer to the general location, but look at all this empty space around where Saul is. We should be bumping into some enemies soon. Like here's... Where's the empire thing? Political map. Here's our empire. So yeah, we're getting close to being a third of it, so sooner than later we'll be finding enemies probably equidistant, so somewhere around here, somewhere around here, since we're over at this corner. I presume it's going to be equidistant, filling, you know, corners of the map, so somewhere there and there, because our homeworld's like way over here, right, somewhere? But it would be like making a, a, a triangle. If we had done like, um, uh, four or five, we might have had like three there and one in the middle or four making a pyramid while inside it's like our tetrahedron you know something like that it wouldn't be perfectly equal and um you know equilateral something i need to study geometry again to use the right terminology but yeah either way here's our giant amoeba We're anyway onward back to this map and let's see here we have a destination good all right so there was that already there beta fleet it's a tanker with fusion okay so you're going over to see how bad this one is climate hazard what the heck prohibitive you don't say and then all the kill wrath here are like you have a navcom i want a navcom dun 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 it's a problem Okay, closest weird star, well, unknown star, not weird star, just unknown. Yes, There's go that, there we go with that one now. Oh my word, here's our ships of doom. And we don't even have the Alfred Bester built yet, so... Still four turns to get all those. Alright. Yeah, let's... I guess, let's see, do we have the option of building a CNC ship yet? Well, on a cruiser scale? Propaganda is the... Uh, I mean, they could give like some direction with the propaganda, but not useful though. Just like, these are the enemy, the enemy, the enemy! Like, what? What? Oh, Epsilon fleet ran out of fuel, cannot reach its destination. Alright, well, scuttle. Goodbye. I think you had more of a chance in the ship than in escape pods, but hopefully you have suspended animation and you can just wait for someone to pick you up. There's some hopefulness, right? Yeah, that's over budget, alright. Here's hoping it doesn't go bad and we make an AI thing or something. And what's next? We've explored the Van Monen Star of Doom. Okay, so I guess we go to Groombridge. Everyone to Groombridge. I don't think you'd really want to, though. I mean, what's the point in even bringing a comb and, like, is there, like, mold on the bridge, some hair to put into neat rows? I don't think there's a useful thing there. Oh, whatever, though. I'm so lame. I bet I think this song is about me, don't I? Alright, you have made it to there and we sent you over there, alright. And you're going to another thing already. Anyone not doing anything yet? Alright, uh, terraforming, 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 terraforming. Just gotta make sure that these are all doing something more than nothing. Ah, you're not doing it. Ah! To Captain Star, Captain Star. Okay, and good terraforming, terraforming. Gotta make sure they do this, cause it's a pain if they are not. They like, 
Let's just keep building things here in this sulfuric acid atmosphere. Why are our ships crumbling every time we land? We're oh, there. There we go again. Here I go again on my phone. Down the only road I've ever known. On my stupid phone. Okay. <laughs> the joy. Alrighty. So that's it, right? Ever more waiting to get the stall system. Or bump into some enemies and see if I can not crash my computer. Broward Star, Clark Star. Who named these stars? Some guy named Clark? Is his first name Isaac? Do we have to deal with necromorphs? Alright, turn 47. Will I even make it to that old, or will I starve to death before then? I don't know. I'd like to not starve to death, but... At the price of food and everything, who knows? Yay. It's like... Zeta Toucani. Okay. I don't really like toucans. I saw a thumbnail of a video which was saying that it was talking about a toucan eating a parrot and it's like I hate that idea and it's like that's just plain evil parrots are cool birds but yeah whatever though sure everyone's like oh it's just nature it's like no that's messed up that's not nature that's corruption but, yeah, but whatever though Everyone thinks everything that happens is perfectly fine. Even when it's obviously not. It's kind of like just messed up but normalized because it's been normal for too long. Ah, the joy. So much joy. Alright. Let's see. No one's going to that star yet, so you go there. Alright, and you don't have a destination yet, so once we get the Alphabester, it's like, the star is my destination for the other Alphabester yes, that's not in Psychor. That's the title of a book written by the author the guy was named after. I haven't read it yet. I did put it on my Audible wish list, but I ran out of the um, thing. Oh good, this got completed, so let's uh, see about building something else next. Like, what's this emitter thing? Ten turns to complete. No. Photonic torpedo. Those are cool. Photon torpedoes. Four turns to complete. Yeah, research that. Full funding received, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Very much, so. Chip, chip, cheerio. Or, I know it's supposed to be a German accent, not a British accent. I don't really do that one. Well, it is funny, though. Like, uh, some... I've said I look like I'm German, and it's like, no, I'm French and Irish. Uh, on my mom's side, I'm Irish, and on my dad's side, I'm French. What they do? I mean, there's also the Stuarts, too, which on my mom's side, they uh, married into the Stuart family, but that's not the branch that I'm on, but uh, it was that. Uh, whatever, though, it's irrelevant. It's like all these people I don't even know. Uh, you know, it's like. My mom's family lost most of their stuff to, like, the O'Brien's and McNamara's in 1318 AD, but I wasn't there, and no one, uh, except, like, Duncan MacLeod might be from that time. But, uh, you know, otherwise it's like, what's even the point in caring? It's just irrelevant stuff that no one can do anything about. Uh, anyway, though. It is, like, my lame claim to fame, though. Like, woo, I'm related to royalty that has nothing. Woo! I wouldn't even be a squire. I just would probably be like, you're being assigned to be a monk. Congrats. How about, I don't want that. That was pretty much what one ancestor was like, his family wanted him to be. But he was like, nope, I'm going to America and getting married eventually. Rather than be like, no, I'm not going into this stuff. Whatever, though. And we'll turn and see what we do. <sighs> Be nice if we could find a route to Earth. I suppose it's just arbitrary getting that done. Whereas, we're at least still getting this done in the meantime. Making sure to terraform these worlds so they're not completely a waste of resources. 
like am I bothering to try to be a gamer youtuber well no one watches any of my gaming videos but here's hoping everyone likes the funny cool clips like the Wing Commander one that is one of my favorite movies and I know like atheists probably don't like the religious parts of it which are kind of awkward I suppose but it's still like I like that they've tried to it's not like as bad as like with how they uh, did with um, Stargate Universe that was just extra cringe tastic even more than I can do with my writing but um, yeah I don't know could have been better could have been worse but certainly wasn't as bad as it could be otherwise. Alright, there's that. Uh, oh well. So we got the Alfred Bester now. One of them. Oh, and we can design a command ship of the cruiser style, right? Now, refinery, strike force CNC. So that's a this is a cruiser style, right? So one plasma, one rocket of doom, and yeah, these can all stay light emitters. Uh, fire control, hammerhead. Yeah, let's have one of these as the plasma, and the rest are rockets. And the fusion, that's the best one, right? 23 range, sure. Okay. So save. Yep. Yes, sir. Ship design ready for construction. So you are gonna be backups for backups, kind of thing. Hopefully, we won't need those quite yet, but yeah, better to have more than fewer. Construction order placed, Commander. Hopefully, we don't go over budget on that. That would suck. But yeah. And we are researching photon torpedoes of doom. Come on, come on, nuke it from orbit, yeah. Okay, so terraforming to maximum. Uh, gamma fleet, yay for you. Tanker fusion of doom. Doom, doom, doom of hamsters. Alright, where on earth is the Sol system? In the middle, I know. And that's not it. That is DM-56328, and that is Aguro. Oh, where are you, Earth? Where'd Earth go? Somewhere here. I think Ross... What the heck? Where did it go? Well, this is what the star systems around Earth look like in general, though. The general arrangement. There's some brown dwarfs and whatnot, too, elsewhere. Soon we'll be rounding into enemies. Alpha Centauri, there we go. There's A. And there's Sol. So, yeah, there should be nodes around here. We're already by Sirius and Procyon. Uh, we don't have that yet. Not yet. Epsilon Indy, we've already explored by there. Well, here's one. Let's move that down to this unexplored world of Cygnus B. Hopefully we don't get trapped in the singularity there. Or wait, is that one that has fun? Or Cygnus X1, that was the first verified one at least. And that was the one I'm moving. Okay, and you're another tanker of Durham. Navigation, set course. And we have the Alfred Bester ready to fart around. Terraforming, yay, it's completed, woo. Okay. Yeah, increase that. Get more infrastructure. Yeah, okay, where, where, where should you go? Someone already is going out there, so you go here. Sigma Draconis. And you've stopped there, 
so find somewhere else to go. Or wait, you're already going over here, right? Okay, never mind. So still one turn to complete it says. Um, we're at the turn 50 and I'll think... Oh great, the raccoons are fighting again. <sighs> anyway, I'll stop here at turn 50 after... System? Cool, that actually won the I research thing. Yay, photonic torpedo. The doctor would be proud. Yay, we need to build some ships with those and gluonic torpedo. Cool. Plasma torpedo, inertial cannon of doom. Just bump the ships around. Deflectors. Let's get those deflectors going. Or wait, already have those. Okay, shields mark one. That's the one. Yeah. There. Yes, Commander. Initiating research project. Yay. Okay. So I think I'm gonna stop for now. I mean I could go through and pick some things for these guys to do, but I'll do that on the start of the next one. But here's where Earth is, and once again here's a look of the nearest star systems with Alpha Centauri off its off in its own little corner. Bernard Star, the next one there closest by. And that one I've never heard of before, but it looks close-ish to New Tekundu. So, and there's that one. And all these ones here. This is what it looks like around us. Off with our own little dry patch with not much around on this angle. And it's annoying the node drive doesn't seem to have a route there, but Either way, it's cool it looking and seeing what it actually looks like around us. So, anyway, take care everyone, and try to not go crazy, try not to go crazy, try to go crazy not, dun dun dun, or something along those lines. Take care.